Hey you guys, so today we are finally sitting down and doing this Q&A video. Now it's been a couple of days, I just kind of really wanted to have a little bit of me time and then I really wanted to spend some time with my mom and my sister as well because they just left to Germany to visit family and friends and things like that. I know that a ton of you already know this, but I'm not sure if all of you know. My mom is actually full-blown German and I was also born in Germany. A lot of moving around. I'm gonna just be alone here with my brothers and my kids and my dad and they are not coming back until October. So that is a very, very long time. I'm gonna be even more busy at home. I had asked all of you guys on my Instagram to leave me questions um, for this video. I'm just randomly going to pick some questions that you guys left me. My dad's mowing the lawn. Why? I swear. Every time I sit down to make a video, someone's doing something outside. Let's just get started. Um, if your question did not make it in this video this time, don't worry. I'm gonna do a, a lot of Q and A's in the future as well. And yeah. Okay, so first question, what's a pet that you've been curious about but don't ever see yourself getting? I've always been curious about snakes. You guys remember me um, going to Petco in one of my videos where I went and I was so curious. I'd never held a snake before and I just went in and did it. Very, very proud of myself, let me tell ya. I'm very curious, love them, but I don't think um, they would ever be the right pet for me, so I don't ever see myself getting a snake. And then of course we all know like what they are required and need to eat. And I just honestly don't ever see myself being able to feed a snake. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Do you have a boyfriend? Nope, I do not have a boyfriend. What was your very first pet? My very, very first pet. Um, well, technically, because I was so young, yes, it was for me, but like, obviously, I wasn't able to care for it or anything like that. But um, I think I was around three or four years old, and my very first pet was a doggy. And I remember that it was like a white Bichon, and he was just very, very loving. My mom even said that was like the best dog. And even though that was a very long time ago, I still remember like little bits about this dog. Ever consider getting a rabbit? I, of course, have considered getting a rabbit, but honestly, they're not the right pet for me. It's because they require a lot of space and time. I got a bunch of kids running around here. I got cats. Love rabbits very, very much. Do you ever get a reptile and what kind? Yes, I would love to get a reptile. I cannot at the moment. My dad is very, very afraid of snakes and basically any reptile falls underneath that category for him. When I move out though, I will definitely be getting a reptile and the first one that I really want to get is a bearded dragon. Next question, why don't you show your baby's face? Definitely have shown my daughter's face and here she is. hangs out with me obviously when I'm filming videos so sometimes it can be kind of difficult but um, I love you, yes. Oh, don't include her like in my videos or anything like that all the time. In future, would you ever attend VidCon or other YouTube conventions to do meet and greets? I personally am way too shy for that type of thing, but I could absolutely picture you doing it. Oh, I could totally picture you doing it too, Hopping Hammy. I don't think you would be that shy. On. Of course, if I ever had the opportunity to meet you guys and to attend VidCon or something like that, it would just be an amazing experience. I think I still have a ways to go until um, that probably would ever happen. What was the name of your first ever hamster and can you try to make more cage tour videos? First hamster I ever had her name was Peaches. I think I was like 10 or 11 years old and she was a female long-haired Syrian. And of course I will make more cage tour videos. Those are always so much fun to do for you guys. Do your kids enjoy playing with the hamsters too? Absolutely. They love uh, playing with the hamsters as well when I'm uh, with them and of course supervising. But honestly like my kids don't even really care like much about the hamsters. None of them ever came up to me yet and asked me if to have a hamster of their own. Sure they will maybe at some point see what kind of pet they will ask for like in the future what's your favorite thing about being a youtuber well first off my favorite thing about being on YouTube is all of you guys and I consider you guys like my friends I don't really have 
that many friends just because I kind of like moved so much in my whole entire life and it's kind of difficult sometimes you know to make new friends you guys are amazing people and I love you so much Would you consider adopting another hamster not at the moment I think um, I kind of filled up all the cages that I have here I think three hamsters right now is plenty for me if you could rename Biggie Smalls what would it be probably would have called him Jerry or something like that just because I think the name Jerry is adorable. What's your favorite hair color you've done? I like changing my hair color a lot, but honestly, I'm really, really enjoying the color that I have right now. And I think you guys are gonna be stuck with this hair color for a while because I honestly really, really love this. <laughs> Even though the pink and the red were so much fun to do, I'm going to stick with this one for a while. <laughs> How do your kids feel about you being on YouTube? I think my five-year-old would be stoked. Kids absolutely love that I do YouTube. YouTube is basically my children's television at times as well. Of course, I need to like censor some things and make sure um, and I keep like an eye out on what they're watching. My daughter hasn't asked me yet, but both my sons um, keep asking me, Mommy, when am I old enough to start my own YouTube channel? They really want to have a camera and start making YouTube videos. Of course, when I feel like they're at, at the right age, they can definitely do YouTube as well if that is what they want to do. Do you ever consider making a family name to call your viewers? Of course, I've considered um, doing that, but it's like really difficult for me to like, what would I call you guys? Hey, my little hammies. I don't know. Like, you know what I mean? You guys could leave me some really good, like, family names to call you guys. Um, I would really appreciate it. That would actually help me out a lot. I'm sure this has been asked, but what made you start YouTube? I've had hamsters um, way before I started a YouTube channel. You no, know, like, at some point, like, like I had told you guys many times before, I wasn't really big into YouTube. Like, I really didn't even know what it was. I and I just started to like look up random things like on Google and then like YouTube would pop like I knew about YouTube but like I didn't ha I didn't even have the app downloaded at the time but anyway yeah I was like I think I was like looking something up um, like pictures of hamsters or something and then all of a sudden I saw a link to a YouTube video and that was hopping hammies and I just started binge watching her videos and come to find out there were more channels, especially Tori, Victoria, Rachel, Aaron, and Aaron's Animals, at the time Aaron's Hamsters, and then come to find out there was like this whole like small pet community. I was just so thrilled. I honestly just thought it was the coolest thing ever that um, so many people were sharing, you know, their love for animals or their pets, especially hamsters, like what? Oh, in the beginning I was, I was very very, very, very shy to start this YouTube thing, but it was in the back of my mind. I didn't know about any of the social media stuff like Instagram. I never used, like I had a personal account, but I barely even used it at the time. Twitter, had no idea what Twitter was. So I thought, you know what, let's go on Instagram. So I actually started on Instagram um, just posting pictures of my hamsters and stuff and come to find out I really really enjoyed doing that and sharing you know my photos with um, with everyone. So after doing Instagram just for a little bit I think like maybe a month or two or something like that then I finally had the guts to turn on the camera which was my phone at the time and I just started I just went ahead and made a video my very first video I think I actually deleted because I was so embarrassed of it that video is sadly no longer on the channel and I'm so mad about that I shouldn't have just I should have never deleted it um, it would have been really nice to go back and watch my very first one but yeah that's just basically how and why I started a YouTube channel and I'm so very happy that I did. This has become my favorite thing to do ever. Love my channel. I love all of you guys. I love filming. I love editing. So much fun. Never would have tried it. I wouldn't have never known how much I enjoy editing. Like it's my hobby. It's my it's my passion. I love it so much. What would you do if all your hammies pass and you're not interested in them anymore, what would happen to YouTube? I definitely do not think that I will ever just become uninterested in, interested, da, 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 da. interested in having hamsters. Basically, basically uh, I'm, I'm basically obsessed and it's been an obsession for a very long time. I'm gonna be making videos for as long as I can because I love it. 
I love it way too much to just not do it at all anymore. Never had a pregnant hamster. No, nope, I've never had a pregnant hamster ever before. And I do not plan on ever getting a pregnant hamster unless, unless I didn't know it was pregnant or something. Could you imagine? Have you thought about creating merchandise? Absolutely. And I think at some point in the near future, um, once I can like really sit down and have a minute to really like get all that together, I definitely would love to have like my own little merch for you guys. I think it would be so much fun to like design something special for you guys. Well, that is definitely a goal that I would like to achieve at some point here very, very soon. What should you do if you are going on a trip and can't take your hamster with? If you are not able to take your hamster with and like you and your whole family are going on a trip, I mean, I guess it kind of depends on how long first off the trip is going to be. Like if it's just like two days, like the weekend or something, um, your hamster will totally be fine for the two days. Kind of make sure to fill up the dish a little bit more than usual and make sure like the water bottle is filled all the way up to the top. But I think for a maximum of two days, you should be fine. But if you are going on like a long extended trip, like a week or something or two weeks and your whole family's going, um, I definitely suggest asking a neighbor come over and um, pet sit your hamster. And I think like a lot of neighbors um, don't mind doing things like that. And then you could just let them know, you know, have them come over and then just show them your hamster and just, you know, let them know what they, the things that they need to do while you're gone. So if you don't have any neighbors or none of your neighbors want to do that, but I really don't think that's gonna be the case. But if it would be, I know that you can go online and in the city or county that you're in, um, there are actually people that um, you would have to like pay for them to come over and pet sit your animal. So that is also another option. And I'm gonna answer one more question, you guys. So this is gonna be the last one for this video. What species of hamster is your personal favorite? I actually do not have a favorite species. I love any kind of hamster. If it's a hamster, I'm all over it. It really, really doesn't matter to me and I don't have like any specific favorites. I just love hamsters in general, like any, any size, any kind. I'm a slime. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the video now. Um, I know that there were a ton more questions. There's just no way that I was gonna be able to like answer every single one of them. Otherwise, this video probably would be like, I don't know, 10 hours long or something like that. I said, please, please don't be upset if your comment uh, or your question didn't make it in this video. I'm gonna make a ton more Q&A videos in the future. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I love you so much and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye.